Hey everyone, hello, welcome again to the Edmodo tutorial. What I'm going to show you today is how you can create an assignment and grade them. The first thing you want to do is on the top of the form, click on assignment. If you've done this before, you can actually load an assignment from before, like I have all my assignments um, captured from my last semester that I had this done. That's one of the great features about Edmodo. I can just click on one of these that I gave last year. I have all the writing saved up. Um, the attached photo that I had, all I have to do is just adjust the due date. So let's say if I want the due date to be today, I'll click on that. You can attach additional files or a website, or you can even draw more files from your library if you had them. And then you can actually send an individual assignment to just a student, or you could send it to the whole class. In this case, for my video, I'm just going to send it to my one student that I made up account for and then I'm going to click on send. If you need to make an assignment up from scratch just type in the title. Describe the assignment would basically be the instructions. Uh, give it a due date. This is what's going to appear in the upper right hand corner for the person. They can also go to the like, calendar up top and they will find their attachments up there. And you can also attach a file or a link to it. I'm now logged into my student account and you can see up in here that I now have two assignments due. I had another assignment I created for this class and here again is the assignment. If I click on show full post it's going to show everything for me to read. Uh, basically my instructions are that I give my students they have to pick one of the two prompts and have to answer it. What they have to understand is that if they hit reply it becomes a public message for everyone to read you cannot grade an assignment if the student hits a reply and it becomes public. I always say reply means public, so let's say I don't get this. And that is typically a response I get for some of the students. And that way everyone can read it. And from there, more students can reply and they can add a thread of discussion onto it to help them out. You can tag them as well if you want to organize some of your tags. And um, you can also get the link back to this post if you need to resubmit it. But whenever you turn in the assignment, you must hit the turn in button. And you really want to push that to your students. And this is basically where you would type in the response. Um, if they need to click on the picture, they could see it much bigger for them right then and there. And when they're all done, I can say, um, I click in that box and say, um, I think this painting is about da 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 da. When I'm all done, I'm going to hit Turn In Assignment. And my job as the student is done. And you can see up here, as the student's going to tell you, waiting for your grade. They also have this option to resubmit it. Now we're going to go back in as the teacher. Now that I'm logged back in as the teacher, I see that I have one student who turned in an assignment. This helps out if you go on to the site um, here and there, and you can see who's actually turning in the work. Then you can go over to Turned In Assignments under your notifications. And I do have a couple students from the past that I never graded their stuff from last semester. But the newest ones always appear at the bottom. You click on the actual assignment. And you can type in them additional comment. And here's how we grade it. Here's the easiest way. All my grades come out of 100. So I'm going to make the total default. And this way I don't have to always type that in. And I think this is uh, could use some improvement, so I'm going to say it's a 75 and grade it. And then it appears. You can also say, hey, nice job, at comment. Um, as you start to have more students start to turn this assignment, they'll appearing on the left. If you'd like to see all the grades from all your students, just click on grades, go to the class that you have, and what you could eventually do is you can export this as a spreadsheet that you can import into your gradebook on your gradebook program. And it keeps track of all your grades and will give you your average. If you have any further questions about grades, making assignments, anything like that, just shoot me an email, contact me on my poster site.